Hi, today we're going to compare a CFL bulb to an LED bulb. Now both bulbs look pretty similar but they're very different technology. Now they both have a similar shape and they both have a similar beam angle around 250 to 270 degrees. So it's a pretty fair comparison. We have the Firefly 24 watt CFL. If you have a look inside the bulb you can see the classic spiral in the middle and then they've just put this outer piece of glass basically around it and then this is the LED 16 watt Omni so we have a 24 watt CFL we have a 16 watt LED and we're going to compare how they do against each other now you're probably wondering how are we going to measure the difference between them well we're going to use this lux meter which measures how much light is in a specific area so this will allow us to easily compare the two bulbs against each other I'm going to use the same room, the bulb goes in the middle and I'm going to measure a few different points in the room. And what I'm going to do is put down a marker in each spot to make sure that I measure the exact same spot for each bulb. To give you an idea of how this works, if you see the lux meter right now it reads 39 or it's varying. So if I block the sensor you can see it doesn't measure anything. If I point it towards the light it's measuring that much, if I point it away from the light it decreases so very simple very easy to use right now I have a regular spiral CFL bulb in here I'm going to unscrew that and I'm going to start with the Omni LED bulb okay so now we've got the Omni LED screwed in it looks a little bit bluer on the camera but it doesn't look quite so blue in person so I guess it's just the camera auto white balance you know readjusting so I'm going to point the camera down so you can see exactly where I'm measuring from so this will be location one and I'm measuring 62 lux in position 1. This will be position 2 which is practically right underneath the bulb. And I'm reading 77 lux. This is position 3 and I'm measuring 77 lux and this will be position four. Now I know there's not a huge spread in this uh, distribution, but unfortunately the room's not that big and also I need to keep it on camera. So I think it's still good enough to get an idea. So let's measure this. So here I'm measuring 70 lux. So now I'm going to take the LED bulb out. Sorry, I have to crouch to get myself on camera. I have to crouch down so I can fit in this shot. I've now put in the Firefly CFL bulb. Now of course CFLs take a while to warm up so I'm going to take a reading now then I'm going to wait 10 minutes and take another set of reading. So at spot 1 I'm reading 9 lux, that's pretty low. At spot 2 I'm reading 14 lux. At spot 3 I'm reading 15 lux. And at spot 4 I'm reading 15 lux. So let's give the light a while to warm up and then we'll measure again. So the CFL has warmed up now. One thing I want to say is this isn't about brands, this isn't about Firefly versus Omni. This is about technology, CFL versus LED. So let's go ahead and take our second readings for the CFL. I've got 37 lux for position 1. I've got 48 lux for position 2. I've got 52 lux for position 3 and I've got 45 lux for position 4. So let's go to my desk and compare the results. Not only that but actually run the bulbs through my watt meter just to confirm that they really are what they say they are. Now like I said I want to verify that the bulbs are actually what they say they are. We'll start with the Omni 16 watt LED bulb. have my watt meter here, let's screw it in and see how much power it consumes. I'll just cover the bulb so you can read the display. And there you go. 15.6 watts. That's pretty close to 16 watts. Good enough. So let's test out the Firefly. Now we have the Firefly 24 watt CFL. Let's plug that in. You can see that's much dimmer. It does take a while to warm up. Let me cover the bulb and you can see that's actually consuming below 24 watts. It's only around 21.5. I'll let it run for a while to see if it increases. 
So it's been running for a couple minutes now and it seems pretty steady at around 25 watts, 25.5, 25.4, it jumps around a bit but it's a little bit higher than its 24 watt rating. When we look at the final results, we can see there's really a huge difference between the LED and the CFL. When the CFL is still warming up, we see a difference of anywhere from 4.6 to 6.8 more light from the LED. When you first enter a room and you turn on the bulb, that's a huge difference. Once the CFL is warmed up, it does a bit better. You can see it's only between 1.5 and 1.6 times more light from the LED. But considering the LED is only 16 watts and the CFL is 24 watts, that's still quite a big difference. Um, and you do notice it when you go from a CFL to an LED. So I think the results are pretty clear that LED is the way of the future. Less electricity, less heat, no warm up time and a lot more light. So I hope you found that interesting. It's quite fun to look at the difference between CFL and LED because of course LEDs are more expensive to buy up front compared to CFL. But when you factor in the lifetime, I think LED is probably as cost effective if not more cost effective than CFLs because most of the LED bulbs come with a long warranty. Of course it varies between brands so check that. But with the warranty of so many years you know that the LED bulb is really going to last. Aside from the cost and lifetime use of the bulb, you have the fact that LED bulbs, as soon as you turn it on, they're at full brightness. You don't have to wait like with a CFL bulb where you have to wait for it to warm up. Aside from that, you also have the power savings. Imagine the difference between a 16 watt LED that we looked at today and the 24 watt CFL. CFL is using more electricity but giving us less light. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe.